So when we have two inequalities uh, where we have more than one variable, what we do is we graph each of the inequalities on the xy plane, uh, and then we shade the solution region. So to graph each line, what you want to do is put each line into slope-intercept form. So for the first one, 2y minus x less than or equal to 2, um, I want to put that into y equals mx plus b form. So add x to both sides, we get 2y less than or equal to x plus 2, and then divide everything by 2, we get y less than or equal to, I'm going to write this as 1 half x, plus 2 divided by 2 uh, is 1. For the other inequality, all we need to do is subtract 3x, and we are left with y greater than negative 3x plus 1. So what we want to do is graph each of these inequalities. Now, the first inequality um, has a y-intercept of positive 1. So um, start at 1, and then we're going to go up 1, right 2. So our line goes through that y-intercept with a slope of 1 half. Okay, so there's the first line. Uh, the second line um, has a slope of negative 3 over 1. So we're going to go down 1, or sorry, down 3, right 1. And we're going to start at a y-intercept of 1. So, um, and what we need to do is we need to make this a dashed line. So we will have um, a solid line anytime the inequality is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. We have a dashed line. Um, we have a dashed line when we have less than or greater than. It's kind of similar to how on a one variable inequality we use brackets when it's greater than and equal to or less than or equal to. And then we use parentheses when it's uh, less than or greater than. So back to graphing uh, this inequality. So the slope is negative 3 over 1. I have a y-intercept of 1. So I'm going to go through 1. I'm going to go down 3, right 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a dashed line. Something like that. Okay. So from this point, what we want to do is we want to figure out which region of the graph is shaded. Now there's kind of four different regions that we have here. Um, the graph is kind of cutting, uh, cutting the, the xy plane into four separate zones. So to determine where we shade, um, what we do is we pick a point that is not on either of the lines. Now usually we want to pick a point that's really easy to test into each of the inequalities. Um, now, uh, the point that we pick also must not be on either of the lines. So if we pick this point right here, um, that's 1, 0, what we do is we test that in each inequality. So in the first inequality we have 2y minus x less than or equal to 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute 1 for x, 0 for y, see what happens. I get 2 times 0 minus 1 less than or equal to 2, negative 1 less than or equal to 2. Now the question is, is this true? Is negative 1 less than or equal to 2? And the answer is yes, that is true. So what that means is, this inequality is, uh, let's label things here. This is the first inequality, second inequality. So this line corresponds to that first inequality. And what we're saying is that test point makes that inequality true. So what this means is we're going to shade on the same side as where that any or as where that test point is, because that point 
one zero is that kind of on the right side of that line, and so we're gonna and because it makes it true, we're gonna shade everywhere on the right side of that line. In other words, any point that we picked on the right side of that line would make this inequality true. Conversely, any point we picked on the other side of the line, if we were to input that into the inequality, it would make the inequality false. So in the second inequality, we test the same point. So we have uh, y plus 3x greater than 1. I get 0 plus 3 times 1 greater than 1. 3 greater than 1. Is that true? Is 3 greater than 1? Well, that is also true. So what that means is we're going to shade in the direction of that test point, 1, 0. So 1, 0 is to the right of this red dotted line. So we're going to end up shading to the right. So the final solution here is wherever this uh, graph um, is getting shaded in both, or where the shading is overlapping. So what we notice is this region on the right um, is going to be shaded uh, by, uh, how should I say this? Um, the solution area is whichever region is getting shaded twice. So all of this region in here is the solution. So we'd say that is the solution. Now, this is a little bit on the sloppy side, um, but hopefully you get the idea of what's happening here.